Um, uh, Kyle think. has the artistry aspect to him that makes him interesting in terms of yeah. like how he utilizes his powers, but I've never, his personality, I've known him as what you said. He's kind of like a stand in for like a Peter Parker in the yeah. Justice League, you know, but yeah. then, but you know, then he got the Tim Drake kind of, you yeah, know, he, got, he uh, really did get Tim, the Tim Drake treatment, unfortunately. Exactly. Yeah. It's sad. It's not yeah. like, where is he? Yeah. 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 Oh, I I remember what I was gonna say. Um, part of the with talking about the multiplication of lanterns, and this this also applies to the multiplication of like Batman sidekicks. And I think we've maybe talked about this before. Um, just like part of the problem with the incent with the incentive structure uh, in terms of like payouts for uh, superhero comics is that um you don't get royalties. Like if you write for a character that was created by another person, you don't get royalties for that version of the character that you've written the person that created the original character continues to get royalties so you only get royalties for characters that you've created so there's an incentive to create a whole bunch of new characters um look at miles morales with brian michael characters. bendis say again My miles morales with brian michael bendis yeah yeah and you say um and then again like the pride the prime example i think of this is just the multiplication of robins um, oh yeah the we need to stop we need to put a cap i need the editors at dc someone to step in and be like okay no more no more we're going to try and fix we're going to try and fix the payout the payout structure so that you don't do this but yeah um Actually, that's do it. you that's know what do you know what company you are referring to it's dc i know i know, <laughs> I know. I know that would never happen, but I you know. know what DC stands for? You know what it stands for? Uh, this cash. Okay, this is what we're grasping for, all right? Which is why on October seventh, I'm grabbing my first issue of of Absolute Batman. Okay, so that I can oh, help yeah, with the royalties. Man. <laughs> this is Absolute Man. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. I, but speaking of the Tim Drake effect, <laughs> it is also known as Bat Chungus. As, yeah, as Bat Chungus. Let me let me talk to you about this other piece of news that came out. And, uh, oh, yeah, ex- just yesterday. Further exclusion, further exclusion of Tim Drake. We're getting, apparently, uh, from DC Studios, not within the DCU. I believe this is going to be elsewhere. No. Yeah. It is uh, called Dynamic Duo, which is an animated DC film about uh, Dick Grayson and Jason Todd. Um not not Tim Drake. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is separate from anything else. As far as I know, it's separate from anything else. Um, yeah, it seems to be my immediate reaction when I heard the news was like, oh, like they're trying to imitate into the Spider-Verse, basically. Yes. Especially yeah, with absolutely. the like kind of unconventional animation style. I mean, like not to say that like the animation style for um, into the Spider-Verse is like super unconventional. It's distinct, but it's you know, it's still regular like cg animated stuff but this is apparently going to be using like a mix of puppetry and cgi animation yeah. and i think also maybe traditional animation um so i'm interested to see um i'm interested to see what the final product is going to look like i mean i'm honestly interested in um i think i'm frozen I'm oh back. no I'm back. I, you, you... I was gonna say i'm honestly interested in uh i'm honestly interested in seeing the project simply uh simply on that basis um because i want to i want to i want to take a look at the animation yeah i i'm very curious i'm curious about this um i appreciate that dc is is going forward with a lot of the elseworld stuff yeah um i would have liked a a robin or nightwing film in the dcu but well, for one thing, I, I think they need to fix their titles for some of these films like that are coming out. Like Dynamic Duo, it's okay. I understand why they would use it. I think there's yeah. something better there. I, and also, this is going to be real quick, but The Brave and the Bold. I'm, oh, I think Brave and the Bold is going to get changed. I, I hope no so. That's gonna get I really hope so. I'm not sold on that. I, I know what it's referring to. I get it and everything, but nah, I I, I ain't feeling it. If 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 it were called Batman Brave and the Bold, that would be a little bit better. I understand why they want to not have Batman in the title, but I mean, yeah, come on. 
Yeah, it's um, not. I I have I have very little doubt that that once that actually goes to production, that um that name is going to change. I have very little doubt. Um, I think it's probably going to be. It'll probably have Batman in the name. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they just drop the Brave and the Bold as a title completely. Um, I have a pretty strong feeling that that's going to be the case. Um, they should call it Batman and Robin. Yeah, honestly, call it that. Um, Batman and Robin, or I mean, Batman and Son is already taken. Um, but yeah, some, something like that, something that is, I mean, first of all, like we should point out that the original Brave and the Bold, um, had nothing to do with Batman. It was a yeah. Flash and Green Lantern team up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think I may have talked to you about how, um, I kind of wished that, um, the Brave and the Bold as a, um, as a title had been reserved for like in the same way that it would be nice if you have like the world's finest as like a separate Batman Superman team up series separate from their like individual um, like solo films. It would be nice if the Brave and the Bold as a film series existed as it's on its own, but it was like a rotating um, cast of like different up. heroes. Like, you right? start with Flash and Green Lantern and then go to different characters. That would be great. Yeah, yeah I, I would love that. I mean, that that's where it's a bit more appropriate than with. I, I mean, I know there was a cartoon called Batman: Brave and the Bold and everything, but I, I, yeah. I I've just I started reading the book that I believe that they are. Uh, well, I'm rereading the book that I believe they are basing that film off of, which is yeah. uh, Batman and Robin by Grant Morrison, and that title it fits it, you know, perfectly. So let's just. Who cares about the Clooney movie? This that was like fucking. 30 years ago. I just point. say, yeah, it, it will be 30 years ago, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just go with Batman and Robin. Just go with Batman Please. and Robin. But, but speaking of dynamic duo, uh, I, I would hope that this movie can justify its format because this, yeah. I, in my opinion, this is a movie that could have fit. I don't know the story, but I feel like just the premise could have fit the DCU. You know what I mean? Um, Maybe. I mean, there's a there's a bat family in the DCU. We know this for a fact. So, you sure. know, and, and when I heard when I heard it was animated, I thought it was going to be part of the DCU because that's what Gunn has been pitching that everything they're going to do gaming animation. Uh, uh, I don't know about comic books, but they're going to have um, films, shows and everything all interconnected. So, yeah, um, I'm a little disappointed that it is separate. But at the same time, it it does allow it some freedom to be its own thing. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'm say, I I'm I'm looking forward to it either way. And I say I'm sure that we'll get, you know, obviously we're already gonna be getting an animated DCU uh title relatively soon with Creature Commandos. Um is that yeah, later sure this that year? We'll getting more down the line. So. Is that later this year? The Creature Commandos or I think so. Um if not later this year, um early next year. Okay. All right. Well, um, it's definitely before Superman when it's coming out. Yes. Um, no, so it should be debuting 2024. Um, oh, wow. I think just before Christmas. Um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. December 5th. Oh, yeah. Perfect present. So, yeah, like two months away. Hell yeah. Well, there there's a lot of uh penguin in between now and then, so I'm very happy we're we're eating yes, good. Yeah, I'm saying I am uh I was saying I messaged you like I desperately I desperately want Selena versus uh versus Sophia. I'm ho I'm hoping she I'm hoping she sticks around by the end of uh Sophia Falcone sticks around by the end of this show. I don't want her to just be um to just be completely pushed out of the picture. Um, same same with Sal. I'm I'm hoping that they keep those characters around, um, so that they can do something in the next Batman film, um, because I would it would be a shame to just have them be confined to this series. Uh, but yeah, so far I'm yeah. I'm really enjoying. It. I'm waiting I'm waiting to see the I'm holding off on seeing the second episode, uh, so I can watch it with my mom. But I'm uh, I'm looking forward to oh that okay for sure three. I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. I have seen the second episode and. Uh, you know, they, I mean, DC, you know, between this and um, the 
Christopher Reeve documentary that just came out, they're they're in a good spot. You know, they're really getting their footing now. And uh, I'm really hoping this is kind of foretelling the few. We have to see with Joker, which is going to come out uh, would be, it's tomorrow. Crazy enough. Um, is it but tomorrow? yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, uh, October 4th. Oh, yeah. Midnight. So midnight showings. Yeah. So Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna be a we're we're gonna see what's these what DC's got. I'm I'm very excited. I think it's looking bright. Yeah.